Welcome. If you're suffering with lower back pain, spasm, tightness, hip pain, piriformis pain, buttocks, sciatica, any type of lower back condition, this video is definitely for you. Look at the way I'm sitting. The pelvic is rocked backwards. The stress is on the discs. The ligaments become weight bearing instead of putting it on the joints. The muscles are overworking. Doing this all day long, sitting in this position, puts a lot of stress on the joints as well as the muscles and nerves. Well, this particular video, I'm gonna show you and go through it with you, different stretches and things you can do in the chair to relieve that spasm, take pressure off the nerve and get you feeling well once again. So we're first gonna start off reversing the pronated shoulders, the rounded shoulders, as well as that hunching that we do all day long. Grab the back part of the chair or the side of the chair in the back. You can put your feet under the chair, whatever's comfortable. I want you to lean forward as you hold onto the back of the chair. And what I want you to do is just look up to the ceiling. And I want you to stick your chest up and out and feel the back of the shoulder blades just pinching together. And just lift your body upwards as you're holding the back of the chair, as you're lifting your body up towards the sky. And just feel that wonderful stretch as the pectoralis major and minor, those chest muscles open up, shoulders come back. You get that nice retraction where those blades come together. One of the most common contracted short muscles that throws the pelvis off as well as the lower back is that piriformis muscle. It runs on an angle from our hip to our sacral area. And the sciatic nerve comes underneath that muscle you can get that aching in the buttocks and even going down into the leg. So what we're gonna do, let's first work the left side and then we'll go to the right. And then we'll do a few other things in between. So let's bring your left ankle over your right knee. Okay, you can sit up towards the front of the chair. And now I want you just to put pressure on your left knee pushing down. You'll feel a lot of stretching right now in the left buttocks. And just hold it there. Just put pressure on there, nice and easy. Some people may have a difficult time crossing your leg. If you're this, this far up, that's okay. Just put pressure up there. Do your best because as you do this every day, your range of motion is gonna get much better and your pain is going to eventually start to subside. So just put pressure on there. Good. Now what I'd like you to do, release it, and now put a little more pressure. Lean your body a little more forward, pushing on that knee. You'll feel in the left buttocks, and it aches. Don't hurt yourself, just go to the point to where it aches. Just keep holding it like I'm doing right now. And release it again. Let's go a little bit further. Wow, you really feel that stretch in there, in that left buttocks, that's that piriformis releasing the pelvic. Good. Now what I'd like you to do is just bring your body forward. Wow, now you're really feeling it, huh? And just hold it to where it's comfortable. Just hold that position. You're doing great. Good, come back up, shake it a little bit. Push that knee down again where it was before and come a little bit more further. Beautiful, you're doing excellent. What a beautiful stretch. It's gonna release that pelvic area. Now, this is what I'd like you to do. Take your chest and let's go towards the ankle now. Bring it over as you twist. Wow, you feel a little burn in there, that extra stretch? That's amazing. Awesome, just hold it right there. Good. Now come up, keep your pressure on the knee, come back to the ankle. And now you'll twist a little bit more as you go forward. Awesome. Wow. Sit up, shake it off. Take your two hands, take your knee and pull it over. Now you get the opposite stretch and just hold it over. Beautiful. Oh, it feels so good. Now take the knee now and pull it up towards the chest a little further back. Wow, feel that other stretch? A little bit lower on that muscle down there, all in that buttocks to release that lower back area. Awesome. Now put your knees back down. Shake it off a little bit. 
Let's go for the other knee. It feels amazing. Cross the leg. What I'd like you to do is just push down on the knee. Good, now you'll feel the same side. If, you're, if you have your right leg crossed over your left knee, you'll feel that right buttock start to ache. And just chill out. You can watch TV if you want. You can diversify this and mix it up, but I want you to get the feeling through these different motions, what you're experiencing. Okay, put a little more pressure in there right now. Let's go. Wow, feel that? It feels good, it hurts good. Wow, it hurts good. Beautiful. Now what I'd like you to do, let's just milk it. Push it down. Good. Come up. Push it down. Beautiful. Come up. Push it down. Wow. Just hold it down there. Good. Sit up. Relax it for a second. Okay. Now so let's push it down again. Feel that burn. I want you to lean forward. You'll really feel that piriformis muscle, that whole side of that right buttocks open up. It's gonna release that pelvis. It's gonna release so many, so much of those problems that you're having, because this is where many of these conditions stem. Lean forward, good. Come back up, let's go down forward again. Keep that knee pushed down, do the best you can. I know it hurts, go to the point of pain. Don't overdo it. As time goes on every day as you do this, you'll get better and better, I promise you. Good, come back up. Now, let's take the chest. Let's go to the ankle. So as we go to the ankle, keep that knee down. You'll feel it burn a little bit in a different part of the muscle. Ooh wee, that hurts so good. Wow, good. Now let's give it a little bit more twist as we bring our body over more to the left. As we lean forward towards that ankle, you'll feel more of a stretch in the outside of that buttocks. I know some of you are saying, ow, ow, ow. Just go to where you can go. Don't worry about how far down you're going. That's not important. Everyone's flexibility is different. Beautiful. Shake it off. Shake it off. Good. Put it back up. Let's take our two hands, take the knee, and bring it right over. We'll get that opposite stretch and that same muscle as it elongates. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, amazing. Now we'll stretch it towards the chest as we come over, bring it up a little higher up. You'll feel that muscle move, that stretch a little bit lower, down into the buttocks. It hurts so good. You can laugh it off, it hurts so good. Ah, oh. wow. Shake it off, shake it off. Let me tell you something, you are going to see amazing changes right in the chair. You don't have to go to a gym. You don't have to go anywhere else. Just do these simple stretches. Take about five minutes a day. Do both sides. Even though your pain may be on the right side, you can start on the right side, but do both sides because I want balance. You want to make sure the pelvic stays balanced. You want to make sure that one leg's not going to be off or, or have a deficiency because of the muscles that are tugging and pulling. But I promise you, Spend a little time each day and you will see great results. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below because I know there'll be many. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.